What are the strongest military vehicles of the Brazilian Army? What tough machines lie in their arsenal? And can they compete with some of the most advanced militaries in the world? Well, in this video, you'll find out showcasing the top 10 most powerful military vehicles of the Brazilian Army. In this list, we'll include only land vehicles, leaving warships and aircrafts for future contents. But what do you think is the most powerful military machine in Brazil? Write it down in the comment. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see the ranking of your country in the next video. And now let's dive deep into the military world, exploring the 10th machine in our list. Number 10, EE-9 Cascavel. The Cascavel is a Brazilian six-wheeled armored reconnaissance vehicle developed by Anguissa in the 1970s. It remains in service with several countries, including Brazil, which operates around 415 units. The vehicle is powered by a Detroit diesel six-cylinder engine, generating 212 horsepower, allowing it to reach speeds of up to 100 kilometers per hour with a range of 800 kilometers. It weighs approximately 13.4 tons and features a 90 millimeter main gun, supported by a 7.62 millimeter coaxial machine gun, an optional 12.7 millimeter machine gun for air defense, the vehicle has a three-person crew and includes night vision and optional chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear protection. Its robust design and versatile armament make it a key asset in Brazil's mechanized forces. Number 9. EE-11 Urutu The Urutu is a six-wheeled armored personnel carrier developed by the Brazilian company Engesa, now produced by Imbol. It entered service in 1974 and remains active in the Brazilian Army, with approximately 213 units still in operation. The vehicle is designed to transport up to 11 fully equipped troops, in addition to its three-person crew. It features amphibious capabilities, allowing it to operate in various terrains, including water crossings. The EE-11 is powered by a 212-horsepower diesel engine, giving it a top speed of around 100 km per hour in a range of up to 850 kilometers. It weighs 14 tons in combat, and its armor provides basic protection against small arms fire and shrapnel. The Uratu can be equipped with different armaments depending on its variant, including machine guns or anti-tank guided missiles like the Milan or HOT systems. Number 8. VBTP MR Guarani the Guarani is a six-wheeled, amphibious armored personnel carrier developed by Ivaco, specifically for the Brazilian Army. First introduced in 2012, the Guarani was designed to replace the aging EE-11 Urutu. Weighing 16.7 tons, the vehicle is powered by a 383-horsepower Ivaco Cursor 9 diesel engine allowing it to reach speeds up to 110 km per hour on roads and cover ranges of 600 km. It accommodates a crew of two, including a driver and a commander, along with up to nine fully equipped soldiers. The Guarani is equipped with modular armor that provides protection against small arms fire and artillery fragments. It can also be fitted with a remotely controlled turret housing a 30mm Bushmaster autocannon and a 7.6 2mm coaxial machine gun. The vehicle offers excellent versatility, featuring variants that include a command post, ambulance, and mortar carrier versions, among others. Number 7 M113A2 The M113A2 is an upgraded version of the iconic M113 armored personnel carrier widely used by the Brazilian Army. Manufactured originally by FMC Corporation, the M113 was introduced in the early 1960s. The M113A2 variant, adopted in 1979, features improvements in cooling and suspension, enhancing its performance over rough terrain. It is powered by a six-cylinder Detroit diesel engine, capable of delivering 215 horsepower, allowing a top speed of about 68 kilometers per hour on land and nearly six kilometers per hour in water. Weighing approximately 12 tons, the M113A2 is designed to transport up to 11 soldiers, in addition to its two crew members. Its aluminum armor provides protection against small arms fire and artillery fragments. 
The vehicle is armed with a 12.7 mm M2 Browning heavy machine gun for defense, but it can also be equipped with additional weapons depending on the mission. Number 6. M60A 3-Tank Thermal Sight The M60A 3-Tank Thermal Sight is a main battle tank designed by General Dynamics and remains in use in several countries, including Brazil. This model was introduced as an upgrade to the earlier M60 series and features improvements such as an advanced fire control system and a thermal imaging sight for enhanced night combat capabilities. The M60A3 TTS is equipped with a 105mm M68 rifle gun capable of firing up to 63 rounds. Its secondary armaments include a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun and a 12.7mm anti-aircraft gun. The tank's cast steel armor provides moderate protection, with thickness varying between 85 and 250 millimeters, depending on the section of the vehicle. Powered by a Continental V12 diesel engine producing 750 horsepower, the M60A 3TTS can reach speeds of up to 48 kilometers per hour and has a range of 480 kilometers on road. Number 5. Gepard 1A2. The Krauss Maffe Gepard 1A2 is a self propelled anti aircraft vehicle originally developed in Germany based on the Leopard 1 tank chassis. Its primary role is providing anti aircraft protection to ground forces using its twin 35mm Erlikon KDA autocannons, which have a range of up to 5,000 meters. This armored vehicle is equipped with a radar system capable of detecting and tracking aircraft at distances of up to 15 kilometers. The Gepard 1A2 has a crew of three, including a commander, gunner, and driver. Powered by an 830 horsepower MTU diesel engine, the Gepard reaches a maximum speed of 65 kilometers per hour and has an operational range of around 560 kilometers. The vehicle weighs 46 tons in combat mode, making it highly mobile despite its size. Number 4. M992A2. The M992A2 Field Artillery Ammunition Supply Vehicle is an advanced logistics platform designed to support artillery units, particularly the M109 Howitzer series. It is based on the chassis of the M109 self-propelled howitzer, but replaces the howitzer's turret with a specialized superstructure for ammunition, storage, and handling. The M992A2 can carry and transport a large supply of ammunition, ensuring efficient resupply during operations. Equipped with a hydraulically powered conveyor system, it can rapidly transfer munitions to artillery units. The vehicle is armored with 32 millimeters of aluminum, providing basic protection against small arms fire and shrapnel. It is powered by a diesel engine and features a 10 kilowatt auxiliary power unit, which allows it to operate independently of external power sources. Number 3. M109A5 The M109A5 self-propelled howitzer is an advanced artillery system currently in service with the Brazilian Army. This model, which is an upgrade from the earlier M109A2-A3, offers improved firepower and targeting capabilities, including better fire control systems and ballistic protection. The M109A5 is equipped with a 155mm main gun, capable of delivering a variety of munitions, with a range of approximately 30 kilometers. The vehicle weighs around 27 tons and is powered by a diesel engine delivering 450 horsepower, giving it a top speed of about 60 kilometers per hour. It has a crew of four and offers improved armor protection, making it suitable for various battlefield roles, including supporting infantry and armored units. Number 2. Centauro 2 the Centauro II is an advanced wheeled armored vehicle developed by the Ivico Oto Malera Consortium. Serving as an anti-tank vehicle, it is equipped with a powerful 120mm cannon that provides firepower similar to modern main battle tanks. Designed for high mobility, the Centauro II reaches speeds of up to 105 km per hour and has an impressive range of 800 km. Its crew consists of three members, a driver, gunner, and commander. The vehicle's armor is designed for protection against direct fire, 
anti-tank mines and IEDs, offering high levels of crew safety through features like blast-resistant seating and advanced fire suppression systems. It also includes cutting-edge sensors and remote-controlled weapon stations for enhanced battlefield awareness. Brazil has ordered 98 Centauro II vehicles, with future plans for local production in partnership with Avico's Brazilian branch. Number 1. Leopard 1A5BR The Leopard 1A5BR is a modernized version of the Leopard 1A5 main battle tank, currently in service with the Brazilian Army. Produced by the German company Krauss Maffe Wegmann, it was originally designed in the 1960s. The Brazilian Army has been upgrading these tanks to maintain their relevance in modern warfare. The Leopard 1A 5BR is equipped with a 105mm rifled gun as its primary weapon, offering high precision and a variety of ammunition types. For secondary armament, it is typically equipped with two machine guns, one coaxial and another mounted on the turret. The tank weighs around 42 tons powered by a diesel engine generating over 800 horsepower, allowing it to reach a top speed of about 65 kilometers per hour. The Leopard 1A5BR is undergoing gradual modernization to potentially improve its firepower and technology, ensuring its continued operational capability in the Brazilian military. And there you have it, folks. These were the 10 strongest military vehicles of the Brazilian Army. Did your machine make the list? Let us know in the comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see much more rankings like this.